As the sun beats down on this parched corner of the world, now is the spring of our discontent. No feast, just famine where wildlife is concerned. No stone left unturned in the quest for survival. Wildlife Center. And at the Wildlife Center of Texas. The inn is getting full over here. They're bursting at the seams. We do take anything that's injured and orphaned. With tiny victims of one of the worst droughts in recent memory. They're starving to death and they're, they're dehydrated. They're just shriveled up to, to little nothings because there's nothing to eat or drink out there. Their you know, moms are having a hard time finding food for them, um, and so then she can't take care of the babies, so then people are finding, citizens are finding them, uh, finding them in their yards and bringing them to us. It's so dry outside, staff members are having to go off-site to find green grass so crucial to the diets of the young rabbits that have been brought in. If it's indigenous to Houston, you'll probably find it here. The Wildlife Rehab and Education Center has seen a 40% increase in the number of animals coming in because of the drought. And this is just one of 200 opossums currently being housed here. He's very dehydrated. Yeah, you can see the little eyes sunken in. Usually we take around 7,000 wild animals a year, and this year we've already taken over 3,000, and this is only the middle of May, so it's going to be a very busy year. A busy year of coping with the unnatural order of things. Brad Woodard, KHOU, 11 News. On the Imhoff Ranch in Grimes County, they wait. I'm 66 years young. You ever see anything like this? Never in my lifetime, no, sir. Joe Imhoff is talking about the complete absence of rain. Nothing measurable, he says, since last November. Ordinarily, he'd be getting ready to cut hay for the second time this year, 30,000 bales of it. But so far... We have, we have not bailed a bale of hay. And he says that's not likely to change in the foreseeable future. What does that mean for you? It's hard to say. It's uh, because you can only pray 24 hours a day and they won't extend the clock. What it means for those who depend on him is nothing short of a crisis. On the average 15 to 20 phone calls a day, people just, you know, begging and asking for hay and I have to tell them I don't have any and I've never had to done that before. For Emhoff and Son, it is a spring of firsts. With no grass for grazing and practically no hay to be found, the options are limited and some ranchers are being forced to liquidate their livestock. It just makes financial sense. After a lifetime of working the land, it's common sense that helps Imhoff weather good times and bad. The weather is like your wife. You learn to live with it, not for it. Something else he's learned, you can't change either of them. Near Plantersville, Brad Woodard, KHOU, 11 News. At the Raywood Livestock Market in Liberty County. Ranching operations, big and small, are unloading their herds in record numbers. I sold some last week there in Caldwell. I sold some the week before here. And I'll sell some more in Caldwell Wednesday, you know, day after tomorrow and stuff, because that's just, you know, how fast I need to sell them. A cloud looms large over the cattle industry in Texas. Problem is, it's not producing any rain. They got to do something. They got to get rid of the cattle, you know, because they ain't got no water and ain't the grass. Man, they ain't going to be no hay to speak of. So that'll, that'll make, make some, that's making a lot of them get out, sell out, you know, early. Each week without rain, another 5% of the state's cattle herd is being sold. In fact, statewide, ranchers have gotten rid of as much as 30 to 40% of their herds. Don Nichols, more than that. Maybe 70% and stuff. And those are the cows I would have never sold. Think of it as shutting down production at a factory, a cow factory. That's exactly, you know, what I did. I shut down next year's, you know, production. It means next year we're not going to have any income. You know, we won't have any calves to sell, you know, a year from now. Something has got to be done and they just get rid of them and get on down the road. Where the road leads or how far they make it won't be clear until long after the dust has settled. In Liberty County, Brad Woodard, KHOU, 11 News.